Hi, I'm Hui Yuko from Australian National University. In this talk, I will present our work, Short-Term Solar Irradiance Prediction from Sky Images with the Clear Sky Model. This is a joint work with Miao Miao Liu. In recent years, global warming and climate change have become critical issues. One of the main reasons is due to carbon dioxide emissions. As a result, humans tend to use clean energy, especially solar energy, to reduce such emissions. However, solar power is unstable because it is largely influenced by real-time weather conditions. And since the solar power is mainly determined by the solar irradiance, in order to maintain the stability of the power grid system, the prediction of solar irradiance becomes an important task. In our work, the prediction contains two parts, low-casting and forecasting. Given the observation of sky images in the past one hour, the low-casting network estimates the solar irradiance corresponding to the capture time of sky images, while the forecasting network predicts the solar irradiance for the next four hours. Our motivation was inspired by the effect of clothes on solar irradiance. On a clear day, a solar irradiance curve is approximate to a normal distribution and can be estimated by a clear sky model. But on a cloudy day, the shielding of clouds in the sky causes a decrease in solar irradiance compared to that on clear day. Therefore, our idea is that instead of predicting the real solar irradiance directly, we propose to learn the residual solar irradiance relative to the value on clear days by using a clear sky model. Here is the overall framework of our forecasting network. Given a sequence of historical sky images and their corresponding auxiliary data for the past one hour, our forecasting network predicts the solar irradiance up to four hours ahead of time. It consists of three modules the feature extraction module, temporal encoding module, and the residual prediction module. In the feature extraction module, we use a pretrained trained casting network to extract features from each input image. The main structure of our no casting network follows the classical vision transformer structure. Given a sky image and some auxiliary information, this network extracts the feature representation and estimates the corresponding solar irradiance for each time instance. After that, in the temporal encoding module, we again use the transformer encoder to encode the long-range spatial information and the temporal information in the video sequence into a historical embedding vector. At last, in the residual prediction module, Instead of predicting the real solar irradiance directly, we use the learned historical embedding to predict the residual solar irradiance with respect to the initial prediction output by a clear sky model. The clear sky model used in our method is a simple formula. In this formula, this represents the solar zenith angle at time we want to calculate. Both our no casting and forecasting networks are trained in a supervised manner with L1 loss. We evaluate our method on two publicly available datasets, TSI SS0 and SI16. The performance of our models is evaluated using the normalized mean absolute percentage error, NMIP error. For the no casting task, our transformer-based no-casting network consistently achieved better performance than peer-reviewed CNN-based no-casting method. For the forecasting task, our proposed method achieves superior performance, especially for 3-hour and 4-hour prediction. We also visualize the attention maps from our no-casting network. We can find that the highlighted regions in the attention maps mainly focus on the sun regions of the sky images. More details and visualization results could be found in our paper and the supplementary materials. Thanks for your watching.